birthday, William. Here's to you, All-American. Happy birthday, Terror Billy. All right, right old codger now, eh? <laughs> Congratulations, Blasco Wheels. Let's make this year count. I didn't think I'd make it this long. <laughs> well, here's to Brother Blaskowitz, toughest motherfucker I ever met. Terrible! That's some hot damn good banana cream pie right Max there. Max made! Make some! <laughs> <laughs> now, here's some wicked love. <laughs> oh, the Lord, I was gonna tear a hole in poor old Orton's tummy. <laughs> Boys! <laughs> so. How was Venus? Did you bring me back anything? Well, the uh, souvenir shop was closed, but brought you this. Holy shit, Blaskowitz. Well, I absolutely must tell you about the silverfish. Is that the name of the show? It's a very small man. Seagram! Yes, Paul Quicks! Listen, I'm gonna need your Nazi eyeballs on this one. I am not a Nazi! Whatever. Look, I'm trusting you to decrypt the Odin codes so we can disable the defense system and hijack the outsmarts. Yes, for Chris, but please stop calling me a Nazi. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your Nazi feelings? Suck it up, princess. You still here? We <laughs> know I Oh, what the fuck? God damn it. Oh, shit, now it's on. Brothers and sisters, thank you very much. Tomorrow we are gonna shoot Nazis until we run out of bullets. But tonight, tonight is for Blaskowitz. Here it is! Here it is! We've done barley, but I think, well, I like rye, but he usually does corn. And then with the is still drunk, and we're supposed to be in the air by now. Oh, can he fly in this condition? Well, he sure can't fucking fly with one arm. Okay, Horton, Anya, get him some coffee or something to sober him up. And Blaskowitz, fly Fergus's fucking arm before this whole operation turns into a shit show? God damn. Hey. 
Fergus? Fergus? Fergus! Hey, wake Can up. Can you hear me? Hey. Fergus, it's Anya. Oh, hey. Come on. Oh. Come on up. I tell you, when a man's gone teetotally drunk and disorderly, there's only one cure. What's that? Old Horton's patented hangover blaster. She he doesn't swallow his own tongue. No. What's in it? Uh, let me see. A uh, tablespoon ketchup, mm, orange juice, half a tin of anchovies, two raw eggs, chili pepper, uh, two teaspoons, a dough chicken stock if you got it, a cough syrup, and a, about a cup of fine whiskey. Damn it, Fergus. Why you always got to be losing your arm? I know not I haven't seen Fergus's iron guy. Just looking at the thing gives me the creeps. You looking for Fergus Arm? I heard he had some quarrel with that beautiful French Madame Maria. Alors, I have no information about Fergus's arm, Captain. But the professor maybe knows. She is reading the book with Max Oss. Right? Fergus's arm, uh, Fergus's arm. N nope. I can't say that I've seen it. Oh, Shimshin. Uh, Paris Jack told me there was a problem with Fergus's arm. I, I had no chance to talk to Fergus about it yet. Yingle, Sir. if I understood Paris Jack correctly, Fergus was angry at the arm. How could anyone be angry at, at an inanimate object that's beyond me? On the other hand, it's Fergus. It, Fergus has only two mental states. Angry and very angry. Actually, three. Angry, very angry, and asleep. Fergus, don't ring a bell. Can't help. I heard you were looking for Fergus's arm. You should speak to Paris Jack. I saw him talking to Fergus last night. Think Paris is in the cantina. You good? Hey, Tara Billy. I might have some information for you. Hey, Paris Jack. So, I'm looking for Fergus's arm. You seen that thing? You know, I did see Fergus late last night. See the loss over there? Christ, man, don't look. Yeah, I was meaning to give her this rose, and uh, I wanted to say something romantic here. Uh, romantic, right? No. Oh. On occasion. Right. <laughs> Nothing sleazy. Uh, she's a good lass, and mm. I want her to know I'm an honorable man. So, how's this? Maria, ever since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. And then I hunted the rose, and I say, this rose is a symbol of my good intention. I hope you'll consider going out with me. If it's honest and from the heart, it's all that matters. I don't want to fuck this up. Let me play something to set the mood. <laughs> Maria, ever since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. Stupid fucking arm! I will teach 
You some manners! So you saw him storm off toward the hangar? Mm-hmm. Don't think I've ever seen a man that angry. Thanks. Fergus was last seen heading for the hangar fuel depot. Maybe he left his arm there. Ever feel like everything is full? Ugh! This god off his book will crawl away and die somewhere for all I care. Oh, I have one major pet peeve, Max, and it's bad metaphors in literature. Have listen to this. Maybe so. See, I speak with Fergus. He was very drunk, Capitan. But he still had his arm with him. bit of a romantic encounter with your friend Bombate last night. Sorry, buddy. I ain't seen Ferguson's arm. Anyway. How's it going? Over blaster always delivers. Boom! What are you lot loitering around for, huh? Haven't we got a mission briefing to attend? The party's over, let's go. Brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters. Check this out. In less than six hours, Frau Engel is going to make a scheduled appearance on the Jimmy Carver show live from Hollywood, California. 
Now, while that bitch is getting her ass kissed on national television, we're gonna infiltrate the Ausmercer, disable the Odin defense system, and hijack her ship. And then we find that bitch, and we take her out. What you got? Fargoes, I decrypted the Odin codes Hep Leskovich brought back from Venus. Turns out it's just one simple word, Valhalla. Type in Valhalla in any of the Odin terminals, and you will have permission to shut down the automated defense systems. Well, all right. Now, fuck off, Nazi. Like I was saying, we are going to find that bitch, and we are going to take her Chris. out. What? Don't ever call me a Nazi again. I am not a Nazi. You do oh. not have the right to label me as something I am not, as someone less than yourself, as someone less than human. Say it! Say I'm not a Nazi! All oh, right. Okay, I get it. You're not a Nazi. And you... I'm in love with you. Don't you understand that you... Dumb idiot! And it hurts. It hurts that you are so stupid you don't love me back. But I will dry the tears from my eyes. Get over it and move on. Because I don't need you to be happy. I would just be mentally using your body from time to time for my own personal pleasure. And there's nothing you can do about that, Sigrun. But I'm leaving, okay? No, wait. Don't be silly. <laughs> oh, you coming with us. <laughs> All right, Sig. You're the expert here. Lay it out for us. We have to approach fest in law. That will buy us time before we are detected by Odin's radar. Once we are directly below the Outsmerzer, we must ascend rapidly and vertically. This will give us the greatest chance of surviving Odin's opening salvo. If we are lucky, we make it back out before Odin has a missile lock on us. However you want to handle this, William, I will follow your lead. 